Hi and welcome to another episode of Mountain Made Easy. My name is Darren from Readapt and today we are going to show you how to install a M3D universal joint as it is a main component of most of our Readapt mounts. The universal joint actually connects two 22mm tubes. Normally it connects the horizontal tube and the vertical tube. It guarantees maximum strength and ease of use. If you loosen the quick shift lever, you have a maximum of flexibility and even can fold the two parts together. So we have two types of universal joints, the one with the quick shift lever and one with the bolt. If we take a closer look, we can see that one half of it has a through hole and the other one has a threaded hole. In addition to that, you have a M8 bolt with two adjustment washers and a little bit of grease at the tip of the bolt. If you assemble the universal joint, please make sure that the two adjustment washers are always placed under the bolt's head. So here we have a demonstration setup on how to install the universal joint. Let us install the sample mount onto the right side of the wheelchair. My right side is the right side of the wheelchair. We mounted this mount on the right side because it's the preferred side and also the tight side. So what we're going to do now is only for demonstration purposes. Mounted two joints on a vertical tube is not recommended. Please make sure that the tube is fully extended through the joint. So these two versions are the only way to install the universal joint on the right side of your wheelchair. The first option would be that the bolt or quick shift lever faces to the beneficiary. And the second one would be the bolt or the lever faces to the assistant. There are only two rules that you have to memorize when it comes to the installation of the universal joint on the right side. The first rule, the body of the universal joint always faces downwards. The second rule is that the horizontal tube is further away from the beneficiary and is behind the vertical tube. In addition, there's only one rule for the left side. Let us take out the demonstration mount from the right side, rotate it and put it onto the left side. On the left side, it's just the other way around. So let us switch back to the right side. You want to check if you mounted the universal joint correctly? Do this! Use the tip of your finger and hold the bolt with it. Now apply some weight on it and see if the universal joint is tightening. This is actually the proof that you installed the M3D universal joint correctly. So in this example we used the bolt, but the same applies to the quick shift lever. As we are speaking about bolts and levers, you can always replace this bolt by a quick shift lever and upgrade it to a universal joint quick shift. So to conclude, the, here are the three rules that we talked about. The first one would be the body of the joints always faces downwards. The second rule is when it comes to the right side, the horizontal tube is always further away from the beneficiary and is behind the vertical tube. For the left side, it's the same, just the other way around. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mountain Made Easy and could memorize the three important rules to install the universal joint onto your mount. If you have any questions or suggestions, just leave a comment down below. My name is Darren from Readapt and I hope I will see you next time.